Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at this prototype of the new Orca Torch D900V video light with an output of up to 2400 lumens, red, UV and a white spotlight included. So let's get this video started. Alright, so here we go. As I said already before, this is only a prototype. I have to thank a lot to Orca Torch, which they sent to me as a prototype. And I want to let you know, if you're watching this video a little later and you're planning on buying one, this might not be the light you are getting. As from now on it will be developed a little further, it will be improved, and then the final version will be released at the time. In the package there will be basically the light, the, back, the, the battery is included, which is a battery pack in this case, the 3S lithium-ion pack, which is not removable, so it's always included, an extra set of two O-rings, a wrist strap, the M3 ball joint mount, which will be mounted underneath for convenience if diving it or using it on a video photographic tray, and a direct charger. Depending on your counter, you will get an, ad an adapter or not. Although this is very nice, you just open the torch, plug it in, and it is charging. Taking a look at the light itself, you can see it's very nice. It's a small size, relatively small size for the power it has. We have a two switch system. The right switch basically switches the whites, which is wide angle white and narrow beam white. Both of them have high and low modes. On the left side, we have red and UV. And I want to show you this just by showing it right away as we have it here, as the batteries are already inside. So there is a locking me mechanism in the switches, which is very nice. So for example, if I switch it now, it's not going to come on. If it was off for a few seconds, let's say it's about 30 seconds, it gets locked. I like it a lot, so it doesn't get switched accidentally. To unlock it, just keep it pressed for around 3 seconds, and the light will unlock. As you can see here, we have the white angle light on 2300-2400 lumens. If we press the switch again, we are down to the low mode. I don't know how many lumens this should be. It's going to be stated in the final version. If you press it again, you have the narrow beam, which is also very, very nice and good looking. Press it again, the low mode. Press it again, it's off. On the other side, again, we have the locking function. And here we have the red, which is a very bright red. I like it. I was taking some pictures on uh, around 5 to 6 meters, and this was a very, very helpful mean to take the picture including the white wide angle and the red the pictures turned out very nice and then we have the uv which is also very interesting to see mainly on night that if you have if you have fluorescent life animals organisms this is might be very interesting to use very nice on this slide which i like a lot if i can show you if you have the light on what happens you have a small power indicator it is not really very bright, although it makes the job. You can see how much battery life is remaining in the battery. You can see it's green. After a while, when it's getting too low, it starts to get red. After a while, it starts to blink red. Then it already shuts down to the lower mode, depending in which light mode you are. It shuts down to the lower mode. And after a while, it shuts it off down in protection of the battery. It's a very nice function, in my opinion, because you can have an overview of the battery capacity remaining on your dive, or in your torch in this case, and you can plan it to the end by maybe even switching down, and just not wasting a lot of battery if you don't really need it, you can just switch down to a lower mode, so it will hold longer. In the front, I haven't shown you, here we have the setup with this very nice LED setup, we have two red LEDs, two UV LEDs, four XML for the wide angle, and we have a thousand lumen LED for the narrow beam. I can't promise these will be the same LEDs, they will probably gonna be changed, maybe in other LEDs, maybe a different quantity, arrangement, this is probably gonna be different, so don't look at this now, this is more or less what it might look. Let's f focus on what's really important on the torch, this we will see in the final version. I've already talked about the accessories, there is the charger included, and this is what I want to talk first. So if you open the light, let's imagine we have to put the battery in, as in any other kind of light, you just open it, it's very easy to open, you have a dual o-ring seal, they look very nice here, very cleanly cut thread, as used as we're used to with Orc Torch. Here we have a nice uh, moving contacts, plus and minus, with this spring-loaded contacts down there, so very nicely built. Here we can see the battery pack is in here, I can tell you <coughs> it's a 3S, so 12.6 volts when it's fully charged, and you have a direct charging plug. So what happens basically is 
you get your charger let me just show you you get your charger you plug the charger into the mains and it will start to appear in green like this and once you plug it into your light depending on the status of charging it should, should, should turn red when it's full it turns green like now and that's a good sign you can deattach it again you can reassemble the light and use it again so you just basically screw it back in as simple as this and while screwing it in the low mode of the light of the narrow light will come on and just have to press once and you know the light is properly closed coming to the ball joint mount which i want to show you very quickly before we go underwater is this the m3 mount as we know it it comes with two screws one tool for mounting it and it comes basically in two parts which looks like this we take the light as it is here we place this part on here you take one screw put it in there more or less on the hole take the tool and it's very very easy to find the mounting hole once you found it it will screw in as now it's already inside then we take the second screw find the second hole and do the same procedure again for that one there we go it's as easy as this now once we have the, the screws in I highly recommend you to give them a good tight as I once almost lost my Goodman handle on a similar system so like this make sure it's kind of aligned then you take the tool on this part and you really give them a good tight as you don't want to lose your light or handle during a dive so you make sure you have it and give them a really a good and thorough tight like this then all you have to do is take the ball joint part smash it in here close the light close this close the light make sure it's closed and you're good to go diving so you probably already know from me i like to use it like this as a normal light now with the narrow beam it's also possible and i also use it on my video tray all right guys talked enough about the light itself now let's jump in the water and check out how this light performs underwater in a real diving environment so let's go and check it out Alright guys, here we are back. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I hope they gave you a bit of a better idea how this light performs underwater in a real diving environment. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how does the runtime look on this light? So, let's not talk too much about it. Let's just jump into the runtime test and take a look on how long this light performs on the high mode of the wide, wide angle light. So dear followers, as you could see, the slide performs quite good for its size and considering the output of 2400 lumens and the size of the battery, it's quite good. 
You could see that the runtime was around 2 hours, barely a little more than 2 hours. I want to test it again with the final version as I think the battery might have a higher capacity, so I might even get 2.5 to 2 hours and 40 minutes, although I'm not promising anything, we can see this in the review of the final version once it comes out. Lastly, what I want to tell you is, if you're using a combined mixture of the white and, for example, the red RUV, obviously the runtime will be shorter. So guys, very quickly and shortly, the pros and cons of the light. The pros are very, very simply the easy and direct charging. Open it, plug it in, plug it off, close it, as easy as that. Second, I like the mixture of the wide angle and also the narrow, so you could also use it as a normal diving light if you really have to, if you don't have any other laying around. You have two options in one light. Also what I like is you have everything included what you need, you have a battery inside, you have the ball joint mount included, so it's a very nice package. Negative points, there aren't basically any, and I can't tell you much about the price, I can't tell you much about the actual capacity of the battery, the package, what it comes included, and so on and so on. And we're gonna see this in the final version. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, I would be happy for a nice thumbs up down below. If you like this kind of videos, check by my channel and see if you enjoy them. And if you do so, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos regarding diving lights, cameras and accessories. Thanks a lot for watching, stay tuned!